Hello everyone, how are you doing? My name is Filippo. Welcome back to a new YouTube video. Today I'm going to be playing standard best of one and I'll be honest, I've been kind of like not having ideas. I I have this issue when a set comes out, I have a bunch of ideas and then either I run through all of them or I see every other creator doing them and then there's not much left and I want to have decks that are fun but also win games. So I went on MTG Arena Zone to see if I could find any deck that I would like to play and I did find this one that it seemed really cool. It's from Brulap, so shout out to Brulap for coming up with this list and um, it's a Millennial Calendar combo. I did play a combo deck with with Millennial Calendar in the beginning of the season, but it was easy. This one is Rakdos, it's more control, it has a lot of removal, so I thought I would enjoy it. It also has Chimil, which I really enjoy. Uh, we have four Millennial Calendar, and if you are not familiar with this card, it's just one mana, and whenever you untap one or more permanents during your untap step, you put that many counters on the Millennial Calendar. One advice I give you if you're playing Millennial Calendar decks at all is that even if you don't use mana, all your mana, tap the lands so that when you untap you get more counters on the Millennial Calendar and then you can pay two, tap these and double the counters on the Millennial Calendar and when there's 1000 or more counters on these you deal 1000 damage to the opponent. But the idea to get the combo to go faster is to get all be one. And whenever you put one or more counters on a permanent or player, this deals that much damage to target opponent. So, creature or whatever, but usually you want to give it to the opponent. So usually you want to have your calendar with 20 counters, you play all B1, and then you double the counters of Millennial Calendar and you deal that much damage to your opponent's face. We also run a bunch of removal. We have March, which not only deals damage, but also heals you, which is important against aggro. Go for the Throat, a Braid, Molten Collapse, which is also a very cool card. If you want to get it, the, the chain going, you can use both abilities, but destroy target non-creature, non-land permanent, uh, with mana value one or less. This can be, for example, the Kazakan, Sosukan, Kozukan, I don't know. The one mana enchantment that deals damage and then whenever you play a creature it gets plus one plus one and then it becomes a two two with haste. We all know every mono red plays it. Or you can destroy tiger creature or planeswalker. As I said, if you have the shant, which is um, if you descend it this turn, you can choose both, which is really cool. Then we have three Iron Crags, which are going to ramp you. We have four Brothers Wood End, and here it comes removal that I said. This card can be so good. Just be careful which side you pick, because if you choose the side, all artifacts with mana value three or less, you're going to destroy your calendar. So just make sure you choose the three damage to each creature and each Planeswalkers. Uh, you have three Celestus, we have four Obliterators, Aklazor. This card is so cool, and I recently understood that it's not planned legendary which makes it even more insane because this kind of stacks and makes your mat go like how much damage is this if you have three on the board because things get a bit insane then we have four all be one and three shimil shimil is really good because it can get the all be one it can get the calendar it can get aklazot it can get all the removal sometimes if you have shimil on the board and you're dead next turn you wait until the end of the turn just to see if shimil does give you any out so you never know that's it, that's the deck, and let's play some games. Okay, I mean, no calendar, but still, I feel like the good part about this deck is that it does work without the calendar. The calendar is kind of an extra win con, it's kind of more control-ish even, if we think about it, but there it is, the Charming Prince. Choose wisely. I don't mind about this. I want to start using the calendar more and more. Kaido, though. Are they using what? They're using plus.
Is this worth it? I mean... I really want to get rid of it, although eventually my Brotherhood's calendar would do it. I don't know, maybe this was not worth it. I'm being too greedy keeping like the calendar plan but I don't think I am that's okay I take this I want to keep doubling my millennial calendar every turn. Ooh, that's annoying though. Ooh, Shieldred. already 33 it's going to go for 66 Let's see what they get. A land, okay. Okay. I mean, they discard and I don't. That seems good to me. Okay, so if I do this... And this. And I activate it. And then I can put a charge counter. That's not bad. How much damage can I get? Okay, let's see first what they do. So before that happens, I have to keep two mana so I can do it for three. So they discard and I don't. So this will go for 300, but it's still far. Damn, I still need two more turns. I don't know if I can survive two more turns. Ooh, okay, that's rough, but it takes time. Another Millennium Calendar is not exactly what I am needing. So I for sure will use this. But there's Liliana. I definitely don't want Liliana. 
to use the Miner's ability, so I'm going to do this. Play the land. Probably Shieldred. Which next turn I win, so they need to get rid of these now. Let's see, what a game. Bridge, oh, uh, okay. Oh no, I hope they don't get my braid. If they get my braid, I'm going to cry. They did not get my braid, thank god. Or Molten, Molten would also do it. Let's go! Hello opponent, how are you doing? Keep. Ooh, okay. No calendar, but I have Brotherhood's End, which usually it's pretty good. This is a Convoke situation, I think. So many targets for my brotherhood's end. That unfortunately does not die. Technically I could wait. How much damage would I take? 7, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, that cannot happen. But I can make blockers. Because then next turn I can abrade the knight plus abrade. Which is really delicious to do. The question is, will they commit to the board? I guess so. I mean, I'll still take some damage, he still comes back from the grave, but I'm definitely in a much better situation. I do take some damage as well. But... I think it's worth it. Next turn I have Shimil. And then the fun starts. Sure, why not? A little calendar. The thing is that they only have one white source, so they cannot do a lot of threats at the same time. Okay, so I take 4 damage. So, 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 I can do Celestos. 
I want to see what I get from the shimil. Sure. I don't want to give them another white source, otherwise I would just take care of that Myrex, but I actually don't want to do that. I do take some damage. Molten Collapse is interesting. I can destroy this and this. They can use it. Oh, not bad, a blocker. Let's go. That's okay. They have a convoking si system, maybe. Let's double the counter. I just need to find an Albi one. Either with Chimil or by drawing it. I mean, another, another calendar is not what I need, so... Let's see what Shimil has to offer. I mean, if you say so, who am I to say no? Shimil, the lord. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that's really good, though. Mm, let's activate the Celestos, because I don't want that. That's better. Replace them because that way I can activate the calendar. Okay, it does not have haste, but it's concerning. That's not it, come on, give me something. Well, between one and the, one and the other, they are both bad. Let's see what Shimil has to offer. That's not bad. Where do I use it though? I think on the battle cry one, they make another creature, but at least their creatures are not bigger. I can still make one more blocker if needed. Now if I do that, can I activate the calendar? 
No. Do I prefer activating the calendar? Okay. I guess it doesn't matter. In the end, it doesn't even matter. GG. Okay, this... I mean, I have millennial, millennial calendar. So why can I say no? Oh, restless cottage is so cute. <laughs> this art is so amazing. Really cute. Okay. Okay. They fell right in through my trap. So we have Molten Collapse that takes care of Shieldreds, that takes care of a lot of things. I cannot activate it, so I'm just going to do that to get more counters here. No, do not kill. If I get a land, I can play these plus activate the calendar, which is great. Ooh, not Glissa. Okay, Glissa needs to die. All the one is great, but Glissa is not it. This way I can double this. That's fine. Let's activate. So all I need is these to survive. That's it. I just need the calendar and the all we want to survive. Not asking for much, I would say. No! That's okay. Oh, I forgot to use this. Okay, I hope it's not the end of the world. They're taking so much damage from the Aklazod that even if they spend all their resources to find a way to deal with Calendar... Yeah. Sorry, opponent. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I mean... Why not? Why shouldn't I? I want to see what they are playing. I'm curious. Mm, not sure yet. Let's play the Iron Crag, get some ramping going. I need a Shimil or a Blood Letter or something. Oh no. I guess it doesn't matter, they just have more information. Give me back. Takanuma cannot get me a lot of things. It can get me the blood letter, which is good, but that's it. That's fine. And that is fine. Where is my a braid? Not a braid, a brother in Zend. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. 
March is good. March is really good. Okay, for mana. Ooh, okay. I'll just take it. Oh my god, I hope they don't have a counter. No, don't have it. Let's go. Ha! Huh. She meal carrying us really good. Cannot complain. Four men available. They can Myrex. Yeah, they can use the Myrex to crew the boat and attack. That's okay. They'll explore. Apparently not a land. Oh, it's a land. Okay. Then what can I do? Can attack. Discard the land. Obi one is not bad for the future, but we don't have the calendar yet. I mean, I'm going to put it in end. There's no advantage for me to play it right now. Okay. At least they're only getting lands. I think I'll just play all be one. And pass. So Lexos is not bad. Not bad at all. The good thing is that Shimil makes that my spells cannot be countered. So they are trying to counter me, but they can they can't. I want to see where they explore exactly. I'm going to get rid of the geeks so they don't get all these free cards. Good thing that the Wretched Sorrow is going to gain me some life because I do need it. Let's see what Shimil can get me. Promising. That's okay. I think the game is controlled. The fact that I can gain life will help me tremendously. A Brotherhood Zend actually would be great to get rid of these Myrex. So, before attacks. Let's do this. I 
not getting live, which is great. This cannot be countered. Ah, they don't want me to gain life. Sure. Let's get rid of one of these friends, gain some life, get less toxics. So they probably have more ways to destroy my blood letter. Okay, Brady is not bad. Let's see what my all be one can get me. Let's see. Shimil. Not all be one, Shimil. Oh, another one. They're actually not legendary, so I'm just going to play it. So they do have one removal at least. Fair enough. And it's day again. You know, this iceberg thing, it's not doing much, so discarding drawing is great in this situation. Two cards left. A braid also gets rid of the boat, so that's amazing if they do play another one. Didn't even need calendar to win, because we didn't even see the calendar this game. And we do have four. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, I don't have mana. No, but I do. Oh, if it's night becomes day. Oh, activate only as a sorcery. Read. Reading explains the card. I would use my Field of Ruin to destroy the Myrex, but they have two. But yeah, maybe that's my next play if I don't find anything relevant. Oh, Molten is interesting. Okay, so let's start by Fielding of Ruin this. They might have a cut down for these, but... Guess we'll see. Ooh, that's really good. Okay, let's see what Shemil gets me. Aha! It exists! It exists. Mmm, that's scary. Oh, wow. I'm at two. Okay, so let's actually activate the Millennial Calendar. Okay. I sweated for a bit when I saw that double blood letter. Jesus. Let's go, though. Okay, I can keep this. Um, three Aquazots can get... A a fun video I, I would say if it works it's fun if it doesn't work it's my fault because maybe I should not have kept this hand but it's okay I need a third land okay so it's an aggro deck 
So at least I have removal. Oh, a braid is actually pretty good. But land. Land, land, land. Uh, okay, let's try to do this. Cannot give them the demolition. Okay, and we did get land, so that's amazing. And then we can do blood letter into blood letter into blood letter into blood letter into blood letter. No, just kidding, just three times. Unless we top deck one, and then we can do blood letter into blood letter into blood letter into blood letter. And that's it, four times. Gleeful Demolition is such a cute card. I, I will admit, I will say it. It's a card that I do like. Okay. A calendar. If I get a land, I can play calendar and blood letter. Four mana. Oh. Unfortunately, I cannot kill Ash yet. I'm just thinking if I next play another one, how does it work with three? And attacking with two. So it's two, four. So I attack for four, but then I did double four, double four, double four. Four, 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 four. Four times four? No. Four times three? No. It's like math. Ugh, I don't know. Yeah, so I need to try not to die. That's important. Let's see. If I do this, I take five, seven, nine, dead. If I do this, I don't die. But my plan is kind of off. So, but then my thing is to die. I guess it's a price that I have to pay. And we hope for lands only. And that's it. Oh, damn it. No! My dream of blood letter into blood letter into blood letter ruined. Oh yeah, turn one calendar is the dream that we live for. Oh, okay. At least I have the Brotherhood's End. Let's play Calendar. is okay. Oh, Shimil is such a great card. The next turn I have go for Throat plus doubling the Millennium Calendar. Okay, so I'm just going to pass. They did find a land. Oh, and it's Poseja, they could use it to the calendar, but they need mana. So 
Still taking damage, but I guess it's okay. You know what? Molten Collapse is not bad. I'll bring my calendar to 42. Next I have Shimil, which I think it's better because I can find an Obi one with it than just doubling this. So 40 to 48. Give me an Obi wan mm, Destroy that creature, known creature, known land with mana value or less. That's fine. That's okay. And that's also fine. Okay, so if I do this and I double the Millennium Calendar, I deal 54. Yeah. G and G. GG. I hope you enjoyed this deck, it was really fun. Uh, if you have any brews that you recommend, let me know. I'm always looking for fun decks. Sometimes I even ask on my Twitch channel, some people send me some deck lists. And if I didn't play it yet, doesn't mean that I will not play it at all. It just means that it's on my list of things that to play. Sometimes, I'll be honest, lists are very, very cool that you guys sent me, but I just don't like playing certain styles of magic. Uh, I'm just not good at it. I really like Rakdos, Golgari, Mono Green, Mono Black. Sometimes I go out of my comfort zone and I play other archetypes, but usually I'm really bad at them. <laughs> so I try to stick with I'm okay playing with, but I will try 2024 resolution time. I'll try to get outside my comfort zone, maybe play some control, who knows? And that's it. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.